Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GMAT out of this book here, the GMAT Review, the official guide. If you do not have this book, buy one immediately. You will find it at MBA.com. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 174, problem solving 163. Let's take a look at it. It says a fruit salad mixture is, is con a fruit salad mixture consists of apple, peaches, and gra grapes. Apple, peaches, and grapes. In the ratio of five to five to uh, six to five to two. But respectively, obviously, by weight. If 39 pounds of mixture is to be prepared, so we know the total weight that we have here. Is 39 pounds. Total is 39 pounds. So first thing I'm going to figure out is the sum of these parts. 5 plus 6 is 11 plus 2 is 13. It seems to me that each part of the salad is 3 pounds because 13 times 3 will give me 39. So times 3 gives me this 6, that means there are 6 pounds of grapes times 3 that tells me there are 15 pounds of peaches times 3 that tells me that there are 18 pounds of apples. Let's see what the question is asking. The mixture includes how many more pounds of apples than grapes? Oh, this is too simple. There are 18 pounds of apples and 6 pounds of grapes. The difference is 12 pounds. That's it. We're done. What, what's the answer choice? Answer choice is B. That's all it is. That's it. We're done. Let me look at the camera very quickly. Let's do one more problem, okay? A different one. If I were to tell you that, uh, and I'm going to erase this part here so that I can have room. Basically, you take the difference of the two numbers, that's it, 18 and 16, that's it. If I were to tell you that I have a class in which the ratio of boys to girls is, say, 3 to 7, and then I tell, so this is your total here. If it's 3 to 7, the total parts must be 10, and then I tell you that I have 70 students in the class, that tells me that each part must weigh, each part is made up of 7 people because 10 times 7 is 70. That tells me that there are 49, 49 girls in the class and then that there are 21 boys in the class. You see? That's how simple it is. Let's do one more. Let's change it here to different, different color, different marker, different everything. Let's say roses and daffodils. If I tell you that the ratio, ratio, of, uh, ratio of roses and daffodils, daffodils, last time I checked, does not start with a G. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm thinking of gardening, and that's, that's how I ended up putting G there. So I have roses and daffodils in my garden in a ratio of 3 to 2. If there are 40 flowers altogether, if there are 40 flowers altogether, Well, if there are 40 flowers all together, the question is, well, I'll ask you the question in a second. I'll ask you several questions. I'll get, ask you questions in the many different varieties and see if you can answer all of those questions like that, if you set up the ratio problem like that. First thing I find out is that if there are three roses, if there are three roses for every two daffodils, there are all together five parts. And since there are 40 flowers all together, each part is worth eight flowers, which tells me that there are 16 daffodils and then there are 24 roses. What else can I ask you? So you can, if the question is asking how many roses do we have, we can answer that question. How many roses do we have? 24. How many daffodils that we have? 16. Uh, if they ask you what is the ratio of roses to daffodils, the ratio of roses to daffodils, you can go 24 over 16. 
But if you're clever, you can figure out very quickly that the ratio, ratio of roses to daffodils is 3 to 2. Roses to daffodils is 3 to 2. If they ask you what's the ratio of... Uh, so here, the roses, first question was how many roses? The answer is 24. Second question was how many daffodils? The answer was 16. The third question was what's the ratio of roses to daffodils? The answer is 3 to 2. What's the, what's the ratio of... What's the ratio of daffodils to roses? The answer is 2 third, 2 over 3. It's just the reciprocal of that. Let's see, keep on going. Uh, would you be able to answer me uh, what fraction of the total flowers are roses? What, frac what fraction of the total flowers are roses? In other words, roses are made up of roses versus total. What fraction, what fraction of the total roses, what, what fraction of the total flowers are roses? The answer is 3 out of every 5. Next question, what fraction of the total flowers are daffodils? What fraction of the total flowers are daffodils? The answer is two-fifth. What percentage of the total flowers are roses? Well, you just told me that roses are three-fifths of the total flowers, three out of every five, so that means roses are three-fifths three -fifth of all the flowers are roses. Since three-fifth is sixty percent, the answer is sixty percent. The roses are, roses are sixty percent. What percentage of the flowers are daffodils? The answer is 40%. Let me see the camera again one more time. You see, if you, if you set up the problem in this manner, ratio problems in this manner, you can answer the question no matter how the question is phrased. There are eight different ways they usually phrase the question when they ask you ratio questions. These are the eight different ways they phrase the questions. If you set it up like this, the answer to eight of all of those eight questions are at your fingertips, like that. That's what it is. Here is your ratio. Here is your ratio. And then here is the thing that you have to multiply by. And here is the actual number. That's it. It works all the time. And it gives you the answer to any of the questions that they may ask uh, quickly. Otherwise, if you do the problem in a classical way, uh, you have to customize your work based on what is being asked at the end. Here it's very simple and straightforward. But in this particular problem, the answer was very simple. The answer is how many more, I think, let me read the question one more time. The question was, if 39 pounds of mixture is prepared, the mixture includes how many more pounds of apples compared to grapes? We have 12 pounds of apples versus 6 pounds of grapes. So we have 12 more, 12 more pounds of apples compared to grapes, and the answer is B. That's all. I hope you found this helpful. If you wish to buy my DVDs, in which I show you the solutions to all the math problems for the GMAT, or if you wish to hire me for personal private tutoring, in either case, go to my website at www.prepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepp